Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. This is the first example of uh, a method of solving differential equations called variation of parameters. Uh, so we're going to solve the following differential equation. We have <coughs> y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y equals t to the negative 2 times e to the negative 2t. Okay, so on the right-hand side here, we have 1 over t squared e to the negative 2t. So it's a quotient. It's 1 over something, um, which turns out to mean that um, the previous method that you would have learned, which is undetermined coefficients, coefficients rather, doesn't work so well. Um, so this would, that method would work for, say, a right-hand side being t squared e to the 2t. But because we have 1 over that, uh, that method doesn't quite work so well, basically because you have to apply the quotient rule to the derivative. Um, okay, so we're going to use variation of parameters. Let's solve the uh, homogeneous equation first, which is y prime plus f y double prime plus 4y prime plus 4y equals 0. So we get r squared plus 4r plus 4 is 0. So this factors as r plus 2 squared equals 0. And then we have double roots. r1 equals r2 is negative 2. Which means the homogeneous solution is as follows. We get y h is c1 e to the negative 2 t plus c2 and then a t times e to the negative 2 t. The t is there because of the double root. Now, for variation of parameters, we assume we have a particular solution of this form. So instead of these constants here, we're going to put functions of t, unknown functions of t, u1 and u2. OK, um, so what we're going to do is differentiate this twice, plug everything into our differential equation, and then solve for u1 and u2. Now, we have some control over u1 and u2. So at a certain point, we're going to make a restriction. So I'll show you when that comes about. First of all, let's take the first derivative. We get y prime of t equals u1 prime e to the negative 2t plus u1 e to the negative 2t times negative 2 plus u2 prime t e to the negative 2t um, plus u2 e to the negative 2t and then plus u2 t e to the negative 2t times negative 2. Okay, so we have that. Alright, so what we're going to do here is after taking the first derivative, we're going to let anything involving the first derivative of u1 or u2 equal to 0. So that means we're going to set u1 e to the negative 2t um, plus, so it's u1 prime rather, plus u2 prime t e to the negative 2t. We're going to set, set that equal to 0. Okay, so we have the freedom to, to make that choice. Um, so this is going to simplify our, our solution. So write this restriction down. We're going to use it um, in a minute to cancel some, some factors. Um, OK, so with that equal to 0, now y prime of t simplifies to be u1. So this is negative 2, u1 e to the negative 2t plus u2 e to the negative 2t minus 2 u2 t e to the negative 2 t. Okay, so we get uh, those three terms there. And then we take y double prime. Okay, so let's see what we get there. This is y prime. 2 u1 prime e to the negative 2 t plus u2 prime e to the negative 2 t plus u2 e to the negative 2t times negative 2. 
uh, minus 2u2 prime t e to the negative 2t minus 2u2 e to the negative 2t minus 2u2t e to the negative 2t 2u1 prime e to the negative 2t plus u2 prime e to the negative 2t plus u2 uh, so it's minus, put that coefficient out there. So we get minus 2u2 e to the negative 2t minus 2u2 prime t e to the negative 2t minus 2u2 e to the negative 2t. And then we get plus 4u2t e to the negative 2t. Now we get some cancellation happening here. Uh, because u1 prime e to the negative 2t plus u2 prime t e to the negative 2t equals 0, any multiple of that equals 0, which is this factor plus this factor. So those are, those are gone. OK, um, so what we end up with here is u2 prime e to the negative 2t and then we get minus 4 u2 e to the negative 2t plus 4 u2t e to the negative 2t. OK. Uh, so what we're going to do is plug everything in um, to the uh, equation, the original differential equation. And what we end up getting is the following. So we're going to plug everything in. So if you didn't write those derivatives down, go back and, and get them. And so when you plug in 2, so plug uh, y double prime, y prime, and y into our differential equation. What you get is, oh, that's negative 2t. OK, so you should plug that in yourself. What you end up getting is the following. So we get 4u1 e to the negative 2t plus u2 prime e to the negative 2t minus 4u2 e to the negative 2t plus 4 u2 t e to the negative 2t minus 8 u1 e to the negative 2t plus 4 u2 e to the negative 2t minus 8 u2 t e to the negative 2t plus 4 u1 e to the negative 2t plus 4 u2 t e to the negative 2 t. And then what you see is we get some cancellation happening here. Um, so what we have, 4 u1 and 4 u1 cancels with negative 8 u1. We have 4 u2 and negative 4 u2 canceling. And then we have 4 u2 t, 4 u2 t canceling with negative 8 u2t. And then we're just left with the one term, which is u2 prime e to the negative 2t. And that's, of course, equal to the right-hand side of this equation, which is t to the negative 2 e to the negative 2t. And then canceling e to the negative 2t, we get u2 prime equals t to the negative 2. And then we integrate that to get uh, u2. Okay, So if you integrate t to the negative 2t with respect to t, you get u2 of t equals negative 1 over t. Restriction that we set when we took the first derivative, that was, okay, so let me keep this down in the corner here. Our original restriction was uh, that u1 prime of t 
e to the negative 2t plus u2 prime of t, t, e to the negative 2t is 0. And then we plug u2 into this. So we get u1 prime of t, e to the negative 2t. Remember, uh, u2 prime of t was 1 over t squared, or t to the negative 2. Okay, so we plug that in here. We get t to the negative 2 times t e to the negative 2t equals 0. And that leaves u1 prime of t e to the negative 2t plus, so this is now t to the negative uh, 1, e to the negative 2t. And solving for u1 prime, we get, so this, u1 prime times e to the negative 2 is negative t to the negative 1, um, e to the negative 2t. Okay, canceling the common factor of e to the negative 2t, we get u1 prime of t is negative t to the negative 1, and then we integrate that, which is ln. So we get u1 of t is negative ln of t. Okay, so we have u1 and u2, and finally we can plug everything in and find our solution. So, what we get is our particular solution. Remember, the homogeneous solution was this. Uh, it was c1 e to the negative 2t plus c2 t e to the negative 2t, and then y of t is going to be u1 Oh, I just erased u1. Let me write this down here. u1 ended up being negative ln of t. Okay, so we get uh, y of t is um, u1 times e to the negative 2t, and then u2, which is this times t times e to the negative 2t, which simplifies to be negative ln of t, e to the negative 2t. And the t's cancel here, and we get minus e to the negative 2t. And then we add these solutions together to get our general solution, which finally is y of t is c1 e to the negative 2t plus c2 t e to the negative 2t minus ln of t, e to the negative 2t, minus e to the negative 2t. Okay, so which is, well, there's two factors of e to the negative 2t here. Okay, c1 times e to the negative 2t and minus 1 times e to the negative 2t, um, which gives c1 minus 1, the minus 1 coming from here, e to the negative 2t, plus c2 t e to the negative 2t and then minus ln of t e to the negative 2t and because c1 is an arbitrary constant so if c1 is arbitrary so is c1 minus 1 um, so in the solutions you might see this written as just c1 we'll call it prime which is c1 minus 1 again just an arbitrary constant times e to the negative 2 plus c2 t e to the negative 2t minus ln of t t e to the negative 2t. Okay, if you want to check that, that you can, uh, can uh, take the first and second conservative and plug it into a differential, differential equation, equation and see that you get the, the, right, the right thing. It's always a good idea uh, when doing a problem involving differential equations. Okay, so that's the 